Have you been considering adding a bloodhound to your family, but you're unsure on what they're really like? Well, in today's video, we're going to be taking a deep dive into how the bloodhound is at home and around children to see if they could be the perfect canine companion for you. Welcome back to the Fenrir Bloodhound Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect canine breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's dive into today's video and we'll start with the bloodhound's history to see if there's a link between their temperament. The bloodhound, once known as a sleuth hound, is a breed that can be traced all the way back to the 1300s. Their ancestors have believed to have been around since even earlier times. Their ancestors were French hounds that were bred at the St. Hubert's Abbey by the monks. The bloodhound was originally bred to hunt and track large game, and they were also used to hunt humans too. There are two theories about how the bloodhounds got their name. The first is due to their amazing ability to smell out even the smallest drops of blood, and the other is because of the dedication shown by the breeders to ensure the bloodhound line stayed pure. Bloodhounds are a large, iconic breed. They're quite independent. They prefer to take the lead. So it's important that they have a calm, consistent leader who they know they can look up to for guidance. If a bloodhound is not properly trained or socialized, they can become unruly and stubborn. The bloodhound's stubborn streak can be particularly seen when you're trying to toilet train them. However, this can easily be trained out of them with calm and consistent training. With a proper toilet training plan in mind, this can easily be remedied. I'd advise to make toilet training as easy and stress-free as possible. You create a plan that will not set your puppy up to fail. Bloodhounds are most happiest when they're given a job to do. They love to help out their owners in any way that they can, including carrying things for them, doing scent work or learning something new. The bloodhound requires positive reinforcement when training. Persistence and plenty of rewards and praise are essential. A properly trained bloodhound will certainly be worth the time and effort and they will be a joy to work with or have around the home. It's essential that you socialise your bloodhound to as many different situations as you can think of to ensure they become a well-rounded canine. If you do not socialise your bloodhound, they can become shy when they're around people they don't know. Bloodhounds can be a sensitive breed so it's essential you stay calm, patient and consistent when training them. Obedience training is difficult with a the bloodhound, therefore it's important to start obedience and manage training as soon as you can, starting with recall. Once a bloodhound gets a scent for something, it's difficult to get their focus back on you. They also have a high prey drive, so the perfect recall is an essential skill to have with this breed. They require at least two hours of exercise a day to ensure they're getting enough exercise. It's essential that your bloodhound receives both mental and physical stimulation. A bored bloodhound can very quickly become a destructive bloodhound. They'll quickly turn to bad habits like howling, digging, chewing and destroying things in the house. The bloodhound is an extremely intelligent breed, so when they're properly trained, they can be used as police dogs, drug detection dogs, search and rescue dogs and even cadaver dogs. The bloodhound is a large canine, so it's essential that you teach your children how to be around them. They must know how to handle them and when to leave them alone for some quiet time. Children must know to never approach any dog whilst they're sleeping or eating. They are a social breed that will get on well with other dogs and animals, especially if your bloodhound has grown up alongside other animals or dogs. Another thing to bear in mind with the bloodhound is as puppies they can become very bouncy and boisterous so it's important that you teach them to remain calm with children and other pets. This will ensure everyone in the household remains happy and harmonious. The bloodhound is certainly a beautiful breed. They can be extremely stubborn but with consistent training and socialisation they will become a fantastic family companion. They have the ability to turn into a fantastic, intelligent working dog. If you can give them a job to do, they'll be a happy and calm canine. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Bloodhound videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Bloodhound Show.